our camp meeting. Uh, this is the beginner's class. And our theme today is Believe in the Prophet. And our verse today is from the book of Acts, chapter 22, verse 7. And it says, I fell to the ground and heard a voice say to me, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Yes, that is our verse today. Our story is about Saul, who used to persecute the Christians in Jerusalem. One day as he was heading to Damascus to do the same, to persecute the Christians, he heard a voice, a light flashed on him, and he fell down. And when he was down, he heard a voice from somewhere he didn't know, and it was calling him, saying, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Then he didn't wake up as the way he was when, when, when he was, he fell down, he was seeing, but he went blind. Then when he heard that voice, he asked, who, who are you, Lord? Then the voice replied, I'm Jesus of Nazareth, the one you are persecuting. So Saul didn't know who Jesus was, but that day he was told, I am the one you are persecuting. Then Saul wondered, who is this Jesus? Then when he was down like that, he went blind and he could not see, and he was with his companions, the friends he was going with them to Damascus to persecute the Christians. So them, they didn't hear the voice of Jesus, but Paul heard this voice. So they assisted him, and they woke him up, and he was told to go to Damascus. So when he went there, he arrived in Damascus as a blind man, and he could not see, and he was being assisted by his, by his companions. And while he was there, Ananias came and stood beside him, and he called him, Saul, how are you, Saul? He replied. Then he, he stood beside him and touched his side and he received back his sight again. And he was told, you need to be baptized and start doing the will of the Lord. So from there, Paul, Saul was baptized and he started doing the work of the Lord. Now he was not persecuting the Christians, but he started preaching the word of God to the people there. And he went from synagogue to synagogue preaching the good news about Jesus. And after a while, now the people wanted to kill him because they were not happy for what he was doing. So his people now, his followers, took him and they went and helped him to go back to Jerusalem. And that is the end of my story. And we have seen how God can transform or how God can change people. He changed Saul, who was a murderer, who was a killer, to become a disciple of Jesus. And he started now teaching the good news about Jesus. So children, we have learned that our God is a gracious God. And when we trust in him and when we do his will, he can transform us from being bad people to good people the way he did to Saul. He changed him from a murderer to a disciple. And now he started preaching the good news. That is the end of my story. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, we come to you this moment with thanksgiving. We thank you, Lord, and we pray that you may be with us and our little children, as they are growing up, let them walk in your way, dear Lord. Let them follow your footsteps. And when they grow up, they will be doing your work as Saul preached to the people in Jerusalem and Damascus. For it's our prayer in Jesus' name.